The Real! Hello and welcome to the new video! Alright, in today's video, as you can see by the title, uh, we are going to flash BIOS on this RX 580 graphics card on the Windows OS environment. So, it shouldn't be too challenging to update BIOS on a GPU, but doing so is undoubtedly risky. A power outage or a failure or a bad BIOS model can turn a graphics card into an expensive or extremely costly paperweight. So, be very careful when doing this. Uh, let's start with the first step, and that is a backup of original BIOS. We are going to download GPU-Z, the program that will enable us to save BIOS from graphics card. Alright, what you want to do? Google Chrome, and in the Google, what you want to type is GPU-Z download. Enter. On this website, touchpowerup.com, you can find this tool. So, click on Touch Power Up and click download. Choose the server. Now choose where you want to save it or it is saved automatically to your down download folder. So click save. And in the bottom left corner you can see our application. Uh, click on it or go to downloads folder and run it. So since I have GPU-Z installed on my PC I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to click not now. And we have all sorts of information about our GPU in this software. So, uh, what is the most important to us is uh, BIOS version and the icon next to it. So, this one is for saving BIOS. So, what you want to do is click on here and click save to file. Okay, so now we want to give a proper name for this BIOS. We can call it old BIOS. RX 580 and click save and we are saving it to documents folder and our BIOS is saved and after this you want to click OK alright so now we can close this window uh, second step is downloading software that enables us to flash firmware on the GPU so most recognizable tool for that is ATI Flash or so-called AMD VB Flash. Okay, again, we are into Google Chrome. What do we want to do is typing ATI Flash. Again, touchpowerup.com website. Click on it and as you can see in here, on the left side, we have AMD VB Flash for Windows, we have AMD VB Flash for Linux, and we have AMD VB Flash for DOS. Uh, you can find on my channel, I did the flashing firmware of the BIOS using Linux. Now we are doing it on Windows 10 and click on download. Choose the server. Okay, downloads folder and click save. What you want to do now is to click this icon in here and click show in folder or go directly to your downloads folder. We're going to minimize this window. Right click on this and click extract to AMD VB flash that will create a new folder for you with all extracted files. So click on this. And as you can see, we have our files extracted in here. So when you open it, you have your files. Now, what is the important thing to do in here? Don't just go to AMD VB Flash Windows, you first need to install driver. So right click on that and click run as administrator. Yes. Okay, so in here you want to type letter I and it will install the driver necessary for AMD VB Flash to work. Uh, so important thing is once you're finished with flashing, make sure to uninstall the AMD VB Flash drivers using this utility. So just open it again, run as administrator, click U for uninstall. All right, so now what do we want to do is to open AMD VB Flash Win. Right click on that and click run as administrator. Yes. Okay, so we have our utility opened. Now, next thing is to download proper BIOS for it. 
on every graphics card you can find the informations on the back plate of the GPU so uh, I know that mine card is XFX RX 588 gigabytes OC plus but what you want to do is to read all information from the back plate and to find appropriate bytes okay let's go to Google Chrome <coughs> And type RX 588 gigabytes OC bytes. Attachpowerup.com website. Click on there. So I'm not choosing the first one, of course. I'm usually going to find compatible BIOS. So this is our stock BIOS for our graphics card that is currently installed on this GPU. We are going with this. Since I need more memory clock uh, and core clock is a little bit less than its original so just go and click download and now where do you want to save it I'm going to AMD VB flash root folder and click save alright so we have our ROM file downloaded now what we want to do is to load image uh, a lot of them would recommend to disable your GPU in your device manager, but I don't see a need in that. If you want to do that, you can go into your start button, click on device manager. On display adapters, choose your graphics card that is Radeon RX 580 and click disable device if you want to do that. I'm not going to do that since I know it will work this way. So I'm going to choose this and click open. Okay, so as you can see, we have our image loaded and what we want to do now is to click program. So, AMD VB flash is start flashing our BIOS. And as you can see, your V BIOS was programmed successfully. You want to click in here OK and you want to reboot the system before the change takes effect. Just click yes. I'm going to click no since I need to stop OBS recording. Choose the Windows since I have the other OS installed on this machine. That is the initiation after changing BIOS. All right, now I'm going to go in my downloads folder AMD VB flash. Uh, let's go first to AMD VB flash windows utility. You can see that product number for current BIOS is changed. It is M80 and that means that our BIOS flashing firmware on this GPU is successful. Now what you want to do that I said previous right click on this and click yes and now uninstall the driver so AMD tools driver has been uninstalled successfully all right X and minimize so this is it for today's video thank you very much for watching uh, leave me down below comments if you have any issues that I can help with with uh, using AMD VB flash on Windows OS uh, be sure to like this video, subscribe on the channel and if you want to donate there is a donor box link and a PayPal link in the description. Until the next time, peace.